over to my Blizzard Entertainment immediate reactions and recap. Uh, I enjoyed the show. I loved everything about it. Let's get right into it. And uh, before I start, uh, I think this will probably be the last video for my Gamescom coverage for 2017. Uh, if you whatever you miss, it's a playlist for you guys to check out if you guys want to for my reactions and all the things that happened this year. And uh, this is probably going to be the final video. I'm probably not going to do like a final thoughts video or anything like that. It depends on what they show. It's just going to be extra games and some other things that they're planning to do as far as Blizzard goes. We got a concert set tomorrow. And then they're also going to show a StarCraft remaster. And I don't think it's going to be anything else like that. But um, I have everything that they went through. Through the whole stream that I really enjoyed. So let's get right into it. They kicked off the show with Hearthstone, the Knights of the Frozen Throne, set to release this Friday, August 25th, 2017. And uh, they also talked about a raid against the, the Leech King or the Lech King uh, coming later this year. So it's no sort of date that they shared for that. Um, they also talked about Hearthstone Global Games Tournament uh, taking place this Friday. And they're, uh, they're also working on a Hearthstone anime shorts that they show, um, which was the last segment for Hearthstone. Really enjoyable. I felt like I was watching one of those musicals from the, uh, the movies. Those movies almost like the Disney musical. Um, I thought it was an actual game, but it, was, it ended up being an anime short. So the next game they moved on to was Heroes of the Storm. And they announced the Obey, Obey the Call Quest. And they also showed off, they showcased a new requested hero for the game for Heroes of the Storm called Keldazad, or Keldazad, Keldazad, the new master of the cold dark who uh, has frozen powers and uh, they showed off his abilities. You guys are you're welcome to check out that gameplay if you guys are excited for that, for those out there who play it. And um, there's also new skins for Dreadlock Jaina and some other characters I lost track of. I couldn't even write them down. I missed them all. I think it was two other characters that they showcased as well for new skins, but they really focused on this new character, uh, Call, of the, Call of the Zad, Master of the Cold Dark, who was going to be coming to Heroes of the Storm. And then they also said that Resurrecting, Resurrecting Call of the Zad uh, documentary is going to be coming out next week. And there, it's going to be a five episodic series uh, that you guys can check out of how they brought him back into the game and you know how this creating the whole process of creating him and uh, maybe some other things additional information on how they get these different characters developed for the game so that'll be something else that they're going to be sharing next week with the documentary now the next game was that was showcased was world of Warcraft legion and uh, they talked about an update called shadow of the argus it's going to be the update patch 7.3 coming august 20 29th 2017 they also talked about some fire player five player dungeon five player dungeons uh, that players can play and experience new features uh, netherlight crucible invasion points some additional features and then some uh, in-game uh, uh, in-game cinematic that they showed off during the, the stream and then last but not least overwatch news i'm excited for this this was the highlight for me because i love overwatch and uh, i'm a new overwatch player just got it recently early in this year and i'm loving the game for what it is all the dlcs i love that the dlcs are free free of charge and everything that they come out with these events are free and they showcase the new overwatch map called junker town and i know they announced this announced this during the preview i think on monday but i didn't check it out i ended up waiting for today for the mainstream to get a closer look at it now this map doesn't have a release date it's going to be coming soon so hopefully maybe later this year it might come out or maybe sometime early next year but if i were to predict it's probably going to come out later this year and uh this was the highlight for me the new animated short for overwatch uh starring may the character may and uh i really enjoyed it i was just so into it as long as like i was watching a a movie a pixar movie it was just really dope i gotta say i loved it every bit of it there was nothing else that was shown and uh, no sort of release date for the anime short, but they end up showing it on stream. And just like I mentioned before earlier in, a, in this video, uh, you got StarCraft remastered scheduled for tomorrow and then a concert. And I don't know what else they're going to possibly show. Maybe they're going to probably have some new gameplay trailers for uh, some of the games that they showcase. Maybe some more additional news. I don't know what else it's going to possibly be. But that was basically it for the whole stream. But again, 
I personally enjoyed this. I think this is probably the best stream of of, of Gamescom. I was going to say Overwatch or Asin. I think this was the best stream that I enjoyed more. I ended up liking this way more than the Xbox stream for this year, for this year's Gamescom and over EA because they didn't really show anything. I think this was the best stream overall and uh, I'm sure the concert's going to be good. Maybe I'll check that out. I don't know if I get the chance. But um, even some people that are probably excited for StarCraft Remastered you might want to check it out and tune in tomorrow. There's going to be extra days. I don't know if, any, if there's going to be other news. Because it's still three more days of game Gamescom um, for this year. So as for the games, I think this is probably going to be the only one for that's going to be packed for game content, news, gaming news, and stuff like that. So you guys can check that out if you want to. And uh, that's going to be it for my Gamescom coverage. I don't think I'm going to be talking about it any 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 time soon for just or just sort of gaming news. And then Nintendo's just focus on one game, just a, a few games for spotlights, and then. Other than that, there's nothing else. Sony doesn't have anything. Sony didn't make an appearance because they're waiting for PlayStation Experience. But uh, I got to go with Blizzard for just the best best stream that I enjoy out of all. I'm not saying they're winners, but just I think this is the best stream out of the whole Gamescom that people might enjoy, might not get bored of. So they, they would just focus on the games. Very entertaining. The anime short was just a highlight for me without the whole stream. And uh, let me know what you guys thought about the Blizzard Entertainment. Uh, ceremony or reveal ceremony that they they called it this year and uh, feel free to let me know what you guys are excited about what you guys like most if you guys don't want to and uh, that's gonna do it and uh, you guys are again welcome to check out my other videos and reactions and recaps for the playlist that should be over here or over here I don't know in this video and uh, thanks for watching and those who checked out the videos and uh, hopefully we'll get some other news throughout this week and if not I probably won't make another video. Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what you guys thought about this year's Gamescom.